Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Protec Malibu. So I've wanted a Protec Malibu for a while now. Ever since it first came out in late 2020, I've always wanted one, but they were either out of my price range at the time or simply unavailable. It being a Protec knife that's actually not automatic means that it is very popular, and if it was ever in stock on, say, Blade HQ or Knife Center, they would sell out very fast. But today, I finally was able to pick one up for retail at my local knife. Knife store. Before we dive deeper into the knife, let's start off with the standard size comparison. Here it is up against the Benchmade Bugout, one of my favorite EDC knives. Here it is up against the uh, Benchmade Mini Bugout. It's the smaller version of the Bugout, another great EDC knife. Here it is up against the Button Lock Civivi Elementum, the more fidget friendly and finger safe version of the ever so popular Elementum. Here it is up against the Large Sabenza 31. And here it is up against the Spyderco pair of three. As you can see, the Malibu is more of a medium-sized EDC knife. It's not as small as the mini bug out. It's more on par with the full-size bug out, and it's not as big as the uh, large Sabenza 31, and it is slightly bigger than the pair of three. And next, let's do a size comparison up against a ruler. Uh, closed length that comes in around a little under four and a quarter of an inch. Then opened up, let's measure the sharpened blade length first. It comes in at around three and a quarter of an inch, so it is above three inches, meaning that it might not necessarily be legal to carry in your area. Of course, check your local laws. And then overall length, it comes in around seven and a half inches. As I said in the beginning, the Malibu is one of the very few non-automatic Protec knives. Uh, it is completely manual. The most distinctive feature of the Malibu is its button lock mechanism. The Malibu was one of the first knives to popularize the button lock mechanism. The button lock is very fidgety and fun to play with. It's also what I like to call a finger safe lock because you don't have to get your fingers in the path of the blade to lock or unlock the knife. It features a flipper tab mechanism. It runs on bearings and uh, to close it, of course, just press on the button and then it will swing down. You can also open the knife by simply pressing the button and then flicking your wrist. A signature feature of the button lock and I love doing that with my button lock knives. You can also open the knife a little more conspicuously with two hands you are able to simply pull out the blade with two hands to make it a little less intimidating if you're in a crowd that doesn't really like knives. This model specifically features a reverse Tonto blade in 20CV steel. 20CV is a very high edge retention stainless steel. It has a good toughness, a great corrosion resistance. 20CV is equivalent to M390 in terms of specs, just for reference. The blade itself comes razor sharp out of the package, which is awesome, just like every other pro the blade and the button on the button lock are in a nice stone wash. The handle is made out of textured purple anodized aluminum. The texture definitely adds a good amount of grip when you are holding the knife, which is really nice. Because it is textured, it does retail for a bit more than the smooth handled Malibus. The knife also comes with a stone wash stainless steel deep carry pocket clip that's unfortunately only available in one position for only one hand. Unfortunately, it's not reversible, so it's really only right hand friendly, but it is is still easily operable with your left hand if you are left-handed or ambidextrous. The Malibu also features a very nice and ergonomic handle. Uh, you have a little groove for your index finger at the upper, and it's also curved uh, for your back three fingers. I get a great uh, four-finger grip on the knife. I think the Malibu has a rock-solid handle shape. It may not be an automatic, but Protect still delivers with awesome action, even on a manual knife. The flipper tab works excellently. The button lock works very smoothly and if you want to open it up, it flicks open nicely. I'm really excited to add a Malibu to my EDC rotation. So what do you guys think of the ProTech Malibu? I'd definitely like to know down in the comments. So that's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials, and thanks for watching.